Howdy space humans. Got a couple questions from my latest blog post that I just wanted to address. What we'll have in the spring is what's called a five frame nuke box or a five frame nuke. Um, this will have a egg laying queen, bees of all ages and brood of all ages with at least one frame being food, uh, honey and pollen. The question was, what is drawn comb? So drawn comb is beeswax that the bees have built on foundation that we give them. Give them a plastic foundation on which they build honeycomb, which into which they will put eggs, uh, pollen, honey, whatever is needed in that area. So the the nukes that we have are five frames of drawn comb, which puts you at a advantage of about four weeks when it comes to spring management. Uh, that's why we sell nukes as opposed to packages and other things. And yeah, not to mention they are part of the, the greater program. Uh, still in development right now, but I think I'm gonna call it the better, the billion B project. Um, I'd like to sell at least a hundred nukes this year. Uh, I'm gonna bring in and I'm gonna have uh, some for myself, uh, some second year colonies. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use those colonies as our founding population. And that founding population is what we uh, will use to breed the, the future bee. Um, what, is that, what does that mean? It's a bee that doesn't need chemical intervention, uh, has a lower, lower tendency of swarming. Um, a bee that would exist in New Jersey if humans disappeared. Um, I saw something interesting recently and it was a theory that the Amazon rainforest was really just a farm gone wild uh, after uh, people that existed before even the indigenous people that exist there planted and cultivated these productive fruits and vegetables. Um, all kinds of, not just fruits and vegetables. Uh, and that's kind of like what I'd like to think about the, you know, the goals for the bees. Uh, what, what bee would exist with minimal intervention? Uh, what bee would exist that is also worth worth keeping around, worth improving uh, upon. Um, that's, that's the goal here. Uh, it's a, a bold, ambitious one. And, you know, hopefully in, I think 51 years, we'll have that be. Uh, let's call it 51 or 50 generations uh, of year over year, uh, constant pressure and We'll have a varroa tolerant bee, a, a bee that produces a lot of honey. And um, yeah, so um, I have nukes for sale in the spring. And uh, that is the question that I had most recently about drawn comb. And I, um, I appreciate your support. If you're not interested in getting bees yourself, uh, the purchase of honey, candles, uh, funds projects like this, I think. This is probably the first of many videos that I put out there. That's basically just like, what would it look like if I um, you know, got rid of my phone and lived like it was 19 or 1823 as opposed to not 2023. And I, um, something I, I've talked about a little bit with friends and family. And I, I think that this is, this is that video. Um, I have a customer that just came into the store. I'm open Fridays and Saturdays uh, here at the store. I'll be right there! And um, I'm here on Fridays and Saturdays. And, um, and um, so you can stop in, bring your bee questions. I, um, I go and get equipment once a month on about the 15th. So you can purchase equipment um, through me and yeah, let me know your questions. I do best when I have questions. 
uh, from from people. So um, let me go help this gentleman. And I will see you soon. Thank you very much.